Hello and welcome to all of our Sun Vision viewers across the country. I'm Gareth Flusk. And I'm Claudia Henkel. This month we're at Sun International's brand new casino, Times Square in Pretoria. Let's take a look at what's coming up in this episode. Combining fitness and fun, Sun International offers an exciting array of sporting events for everyone to enjoy. We take a trip to the Free State and explore the variety of activities on offer in Bloemfontein. Ever wondered what goes into the making of Miss South Africa? Don't miss this behind the scenes look at the 2017 pageant held at Sun City in March. From Sun City to Jacaranda City, we check out all the exciting things on offer at Times Square Pretoria. And we end off the episode with a look at how Sun International is striving to make a difference in the lives of its employees. It was the late former statesman and president Nelson Mandela who said that sport has the power to change the world and unite people in a way that little else does. That's so true, Gareth. And we at Sun International are crazy about sport, which is why we're partnering with the best brands in the country to host outdoor events that get the blood pumping and the heart racing. Well, Eugene, thank you very much for joining us here on Sun Vision. Tell us a bit more about your portfolio. As Group Manager Content, I mean, what we're trying to do from our side is really give people the reason to visit our group events and promotions. And what we've done is we looked at that and said, okay, cool, what are we ultimately trying to do? We were creating reasons for people to be there. Now, one of the events that you recently had was the KPMG Sun Mile. Tell us a bit about the collaboration with KPMG and how it came about. Well, Gareth, I mean, uh, every city in the world has a mile and uh, we thought that uh, it would be perfect for us to get behind a mile race. So what we'll do is we'll take cities around South Africa, we'll collaborate with the city and primarily with KPMG. So tell us a bit more about some of the old events that Sun International has been involved with. Gareth, I think if you looked at events as a whole, I mean, sport has a way of really bringing people together. You know, sport wasn't really just about the hero that went out and won it. It was about a family to come along and, and be part of it. So take something like the Discamp Swim. He has an opportunity for lots of people and families to take part in a swim at Sun City. And really what we're trying to do is take all those sporting experiences, give them a venue, and really starting at the property really becomes a catalyst for people to stay there, people to use the facilities in the right way, and then genuinely taking the community around you and bringing them and making them part of that particular day and sometimes that weekend. Now there's quite uh, a broad range, you spoke about triathlon and then there's the Disc game Swim and, and EFC. What are some of the bigger sports that we can look forward to at some international properties of the next few months? Look, I think if we're looking at going forward right now, our big focus at the moment is obviously for the Nedbank Golf Challenge. The Nedbank Golf Challenge has gone through quite a big change last year and it's the second year in this new format with the European Tour. You know, I think we're very excited about where we find the Nedbank Golf Challenge at the moment. We're looking at how we can adapt that experience for not only for the corporates that are involved, but for the day visitor coming through to make Sun City, you know, the destination that it should be. It's, a, it's always been a great event and we always look forward to, to that time of the year. As you may know, we've moved it from early December to, to early November. And again, we know we, we're hoping that uh, we're going to have the same sort of results we had last year. We're going to make a few subtle changes just to make sure that when you do arrive there, it looks slightly different and we upgrade in the experience all along. I think with Nedbank Golf Challenge, one of the things I really want to highlight is that, you know, the, the golf is one thing and it's important and it's a big part of the day. But it's the peripherals that happen around the NGC that make that a weekend or a week to go and visit. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Eugene, thank you very much. It sounds great and I'll see you out on the golf course. Cheers. Whether you're just passing through or exploring the unique sights and surrounds of Bloemfontein, the city is perfect for history buffs and tourists alike. Yeah, well, there's so much more to Bloemfontein than I ever thought. And the Sun Vision team discovered this on a recent trip to one of the most underrated cities in South Africa. The Winnell Casino was developed in 2005, so it's been around for about 12 years catering for the Bloemfontein and surrounding Free State market. From a uniqueness perspective, we've got a beautiful French theme and we are situated very close to the N1 highway as well. The main attributes of our casino consists of about 403 slot machines, 19 tables, we've got a beautiful privé area that will cater for the discerned player on high limits. We are linked to the Sun International MVG Loyalty Program and we offer wide area progressives on our slots as well. 
tourists can expect to find at Windmill our Rosie's Brasserie Buffet restaurant that can seat about 160 people. We have on complex a action bar that can seat about 130 people with a stage that will cater for the entertainment and leisure space. Along with that we have an entertainment area that houses some branded restaurants for the more discerning diner. Corporates can expect at the Windmill Casino to be pampered in our 80 room hotel with four suites, um, very luxurious, a boardroom housed in the hotel with a breakfast area and of course room service. From a conferencing perspective, uh, we have a large conference room that can house about 250 delegates with two breakaway meeting rooms that can house about 50 people each. Some of the CSI projects that Windmill is currently involved in include the Tabang Old Age Club which is a significant investment from Windmill to uplift an old age home and providing facilities for the old age home. We house an organic food garden on site that uses borehole water, which we basically use in our own restaurants. Visitors traveling through Bloemfontein from a tourist attraction perspective, if you have uh, enjoyed yourself at our venue, our beautiful pool and our exciting casino, you can also try the Olivenhuis Museum, as well as Naval Hill, which houses the Nelson Mandela statue, as well as a planetarium and some wildlife. What excites me about the Windmill Casino is quite simply that we are catering for individualized taste. We have a more individualized personal feel towards our guests and we basically have all the facilities that can cater to any guest's need at the end of the day. From the city of beautiful roses to the beautiful scenes of Miss South Africa 2017, this year the pageant returned to its home at Sun City and it was a smash hit with the fans. Now Claudia, you were a judge. What was it like? It was an amazing experience, Gareth, but there can only be one winner and I think we made an excellent choice. The most important quality I think the next Miss South Africa has to possess uh, for me is authenticity because the beauty is going to come anywhere and that authenticity is going to come through, has to come through in a beautiful and honest way. I'm looking for a girl that has an exceptional work ethic, is confident with who she is and a clear vision of where she is going. I thought this evening was probably, of the four years we've been involved in Miss South Africa, was probably the slickest production that we've seen to date. I think Sick Productions did an outstanding job. Um, Mnet, um, Zanzi, great partners from a, uh, a broadcasting perspective, and it just was an absolutely outstanding uh, production this evening. A million bucks? Jeez, the world is your oyster. What a beautiful nest egg. Don't I wish there was a million rand up for grabs in 2002. Jeez. <laughs> it was really a journey of empowering one another. And I think for me, you know, that's what I've taken from the journey. That we can be women from different backgrounds, from different experiences, but we can help each other and support each other throughout the whole journey. Ladies and gentlemen, your Miss South Africa for 2017, Demi Lee Nell Peter. Speaking of Miss South Africa, in April this year, Demi Lee attended the opening of Times Square along with esteemed guests and Sun International's new CE, Anthony Leeming. After four years in the making, Times Square finally opened its doors to the public. As Africa's second largest casino, guests can expect a world-class gaming experience as well as brand new concept restaurants which are taking Pretoria by storm. Welcome Pretoria and welcome to Times Square. I now declare Times Square open. It's a huge exciting day for Sun International. We spend years and hundreds of people being involved in this project. 
and here we are, four years later, Sydney in Times Square, it really is a, a massive Sun International team effort. 15 months of construction, another year to go, it really is a big one for Sun International, I think it's a game changer for us. We're really excited with Swanee people, I think we've got so much to offer them, a really food experience second to none. This is a Vegas style casino that I think will blow most people away. It really is spectacular, better than anything else that you'll see in South Africa. Well, Town Square has become one of the biggest casinos in the country. 2,000 slots and 60 tables, 24-hour operation, and about 1,200 staff permanently employed by the casino itself, based in the city that never had a casino. been amazing, really tense going down as we saw the clock counting down. You go through lots of doubts, you know, there are days where you think you're not going to make it and then the next day it looks great, so it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride. Uh, it takes a huge amount of energy and input from everybody. From a men and men perspective, it's been very exciting. We've worked very hard with the precinct. You know, our approach has very much been complement, don't compete. We want to activate the entire precinct. It's, it's amazing and we never knew this place was actually being built right under our noses. In this magnitude, it's massive, it's big and it's spectacular. It's going to change the way we look at shows. Entertainment wise, I think Pretoria has never seen something like this before. Beautiful. Honestly, I am a Johannesburger, so it's my first time being in Pretoria. And my first impression is just wow. Wow, wow, wow. I actually want to move here now. <laughs> it's like Joel Central. It's amazing inside it's beautiful the lights and everything it actually looks really cool some international stuff coming up so it's really making South Africa look so much nicer and great international standards. Times Square Casino, our food and beverage offerings are vast. We've got something for everyone. It's very much like a Las Vegas casino, but almost more modern than that. And we really have used food and beverage to our advantage in this area. So we really are catering to everyone. It's about having a good time. It's about using food and beverage as a canvas to let people experience different tastes from around the world with Sun International. And yeah, I'm hugely excited. I used Times Square as the destination for a number of reasons. One of the main reasons was actually Sun International approached me and I'm so glad they did because literally it is the new centre of Pretoria. This space is a very theatrical space, it's very bright, it's colourful, it's completely eccentric, it's all those things that I love. All these elements add up to a beautiful, theatrical, exciting space. Eating out is not just about grabbing a plate of food, eating out is the whole experience. What's up everybody, this is Jay Something from Me Casa and also now from Something's Cooking by Jay, my brand new first ever restaurant out in Times Square in a place called Menlin and it is done by Sun International and myself. You gotta come try it out, it is the bomb. Now from one inspiring story to another. Sun International launched its Changing Lives initiative at the end of 2016 and this project helps Sun International staff to fulfill their dreams and restore hope to those staff who need it most. Changing Life is the initiatives uh, from Sun International. It actually started with Sun International Senior Management realizing that there are needs that need to be addressed from the employees, bearing in mind that our employees is the core of our existence as a business. What Sydney International did, it then invited stories from the employees to tell them from the heart what their needs are. My wish is, is to be a paramedic. 
Sun International is part of family. They are helping me, they are doing what I didn't achieve before. Ever since I lost both of my, pa my parents, I thought it's the end of my life. But now they are showing me differently. I'm so happy, I'm so excited. I'm really, I really thank Sun International and I also thank God for sending them too. Our employees at Sun International mean a lot to us. They are the assets that drive this particular business. And we want them to be in this workplace, working together with us as a team, but also understanding them and understanding the challenges that our employees go through to be here on a daily basis. So once we, we, we learn about one another, that teamwork will strengthen. And this will make Sun International an even greater place to work for at the end of the day. The Changing Lives Initiative email came out and that's when I decided to write my story and make my wish. As I started writing my story, my heart started pounding and I think we know when that happens, you know, this is what I need to do. And difficult as it was for me, um, I shared my story and hit the same button. So about a month and a half later, I got a phone call from Mr. Naidu. And then the good news came that my wish was going to be granted and that left me speechless. Also very, very thankful. And um, I had a moment of silence there. And that's it for this episode of Sun Vision. We hope you enjoyed the show and look forward to hosting you soon at a Sun International Hotel or Casino. So from myself, Gareth, Claudia and the Sun Vision team, stay warm and blessed. Cheers for now.